In this video, we have a network where the weights represent uh, the capacities of uh, flow through each of those edges. And we want to formulate finding the maximum flow from S to T as a linear programming problem. OK, so first of all, we have the objective function where we want to maximize. Now, you can either look at the sum of the edges coming out from the source from S or the sum of the edges going into the sink at T. OK, so it's really up to you. So I'm just going to go with uh, SA plus SB plus SC. OK, so that's my objective function. Right, subject to. Now, the flow in has got to equal the flow out for all of the other vertices, so for A, B, C and D. So for A, the flow in will be SA or BA. OK, now we won't be flowing from T to A uh, because T is the sink. So essentially, um, although this looks undirected, I am going to be treating it as directed. So this is going from that in that direction and there and there. So flowing away from the source and then flowing into the sink. So these edges are directed. But the other edges, um, I'm going to count as undirected. OK? And that covers all bases. So I've got SA uh, plus BA. They're the only two possible routes in. Take away the routes going out. So that's either AB. So I could either come in that way or go out that way because it's undirected. And from A to T, so take away AT, and that's got to be equal to zero. OK. Right, so that's vertex A. Now for vertex B, uh, roots going in, we can have uh, AB or SB or CB. We can't have TB, OK? Can't have that because that's going back along that edge there. So take away all of the flows going out. So that could be BA or BC or BT. And that's got to be equal to zero. So that's your flow in. Take away your flow out. It's got to be equal to zero. Right, so that's B. Now for C, we've got SC. Uh, we've got BC flowing in uh, and DC. Now, although DC, it looks like there should be no flow going from D to C uh, because DT is directed. Um, I'm still including it because that covers all the bases. Remember, um, essentially, if my uh, LP solver here, um, as I formulate it, um, has extra edges in it, extra constraints that are redundant, that's fine. Uh, I get Lindo or some other package that can solve these problems to deal with that. Okay, That's perfectly fine. I can have redundant pieces in there. Um, OK, so it just makes sure, it makes sure that I'm just not making any kind of silly errors as I go, if I just do one, one way of doing it all the time. So we've got SC, BC, and DC. And flowing out, we've got CB, we've got CT, and CD. So that's vertex C. Now for vertex D, uh, roots in are just CD and roots out uh, could be either DC or DT. Okay, so we've got one for A, B, C and D. And then we must have constraints uh, that include your um, the weights, okay, so the capacities on the arcs. So uh, SA must be less than or equal to 20. Uh, we must have SB less than or equal to 15. 
and FC is less than or equal to 18. Then we must have uh, AT is less than or equal to 45. AB is less than or equal to 10. And BA is less than or equal to 10. Uh, we've got um, BT has got to be less than or equal to 25. BC has got to be less than or equal to 6. And CB has got to be less than or equal to 6. Uh, CT has got to be less than or equal to 30. CD has got to be less than or equal to 14. And DC has got to be less than or equal to 14. And then we've just got DT left, I think. So DT is less than or equal to 18. So let's just double check I've got this right number. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So they're all the ones with arrows on them. Then all the others are doubled up. So we've got 7 with arrows, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All good. Okay, so that is this uh, problem formulated as a linear programming problem.